There's no way I could be there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, with fo the fall skirmish, man, it's big. It's badder than ever. There's so much to do. So many people are going to walk away with something. We hope you guys at home are enjoying the action. I'm, I'm just glad I mean, that C.D. in the third is on the Dusty Dog. Is a Dusty Dog? Yeah, because he is the king of Dusty. The king of Dusty. And he's showing it. Represent the Dusty Dogs. If you're a CD and the Tenant fan, make sure to show some support for Dusty Dogs. Let us know your allegiance. But we are kicking off game number two here. And speaking of standings, we'll get you guys an update as fast as we can. But as of the end of the EU standings, we had Bush Bandits in first place with 530. Dusty Dogs, 395 points right now. So Bush Bandits and Dusty Dogs leading the way. And, uh, you know, it's fun to talk about is the fact that, like, whenever we get our, our placements, right, and people are earning these club points, let's say, hypothetically, Rift Raiders, an entire squad of Rift Raiders takes, like, all 10 spots. That's all those points going to Rift Raiders. So literally at any moment, the standings are going to change. We're going to see the standings change during the week as people are competing during the, the trials. I mean, there's just so much to do. There's so much action to be had, and it all ends at TwitchCon. Amazing. Dude, it's gonna be a, an awesome journey. I can't wait. But look, Liquid again landing at Wailing Wood. So I, didn't they used to? I believe they have they always landed Wailing or they? No, no, okay. It's always Wailing, and then Myth used to this. always land Lonely Lodge. Again, Aiden, no Nick Merks in Tilted Tower. Where How is awesome! Nick where, hashtag where is Miss Nick Merks? Like where's Waldo? Dude, Greasy Grove is a hot spot again. I believe that's that's where he is. Yeah, we'll see in a little bit. Of course, 72 hours also on Bush Bandits, by the way. So they're in first place as of the EU standings. And guess what? They have 72 hours. They have Ninja, Cypher, some amazing talent here in North America. So Bush Bandits in a great position to hold on to that first place spot. And look at that. There he Nick is. Nick Merckx and Greasy again. Woo! We have I a mean... new Nick Merckx here today, my friends. And he is looking to take his throne as the king of Greasy Grove. Dude. So Saint is here. Myth is here. And I believe to his left is uh, okay, Courage. So Pupper is there. Yeah, there you go. Courage, a typical gamer. This, these. What a stacked city. Yeah, this POI. is scary. I would leave if I knew. <laughs> if they knew what we knew, I would bail. <laughs> if, they knew, if they knew what we knew, luckily they don't. And guess what? <laughs> that means we're gonna get an awesome breakdown of action here. Nick versus Myth versus Courage. Can you believe it? Wow. And it looks like they're actually disengaging. Yeah, interesting decision here. They should have all the confidence in the world, too, if I'm Courage after that performance that, game. Yeah, once. I mean, they show up, and I'm, like you said, they drop a bunch of what's going on here? Nick Merckx on PC. I'm confused. No. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, spectator no, no, no. client. It's, yep, yep. Uh, right, so I this is part of the spectator client. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say, this is, it, that's why he's not tilted. It's not Nick Merckx. No. Never mind. <laughs> it's not fake starting Merckx. rumors. It is Nick Merckx. No, the spectator no, no. client is what we see. We don't see their gameplay. Yeah, yeah. We just It's just like a, a, a yeah. slight visual bug there. <laughs> don't worry about that. It's all going to be fixed, and it's all going to become better. But, Nick yeah, is, man. Nick, Nick is still playing on console with the controller. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. Double barrel in his hands right now. He loves Wait. that weapon. So, literally, everyone bailed from Greasy. Look at the team. They're mo Oh, they must have rifted because they're moving fast. Wait, someone else is coming back. Is that Myth? Oh, that's Pupper's teammate. Wow. Pupper's teammate is, like, very wow. rapidly moving toward Greasy Grove. So, interesting situation. Myth, Courage. Saint, all typical gamer, all rotate outside of Greasy. They don't, they, it's like they don't have confidence against the console gang and Nick Merckx over here. I don't you know, know. That's, that's a good question. I mean, you got to assume once you see a player here, they're probably going to come back. Maybe they're just opting for like early rotations. You yeah. talked a lot about that. Yeah. I mean, okay, because look, check out the circle, dude. You got to, oh, yeah. you got to move. Going. That's a great yeah. point. Yeah, good, good breakdown there. And, and yeah, you know, in chatting with a lot of these players, almost every single one of them opts for a passive early game with an aggressive mid game or when opportunities arise. So th that's going to show right here with the uh, very intelligent plays to back out to reset and to, and to value your life. There's still 91 players in the game. Wow. Including, there is 91 players in this game right now. Hogman taking shots from Laquan Laquan. Beautiful. <laughs> Just a beautiful man, that Laquan Laquan. That's for sure. And inside and out. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's funny, like, as we sit here and kind of, like, move through players, uh, I find myself thinking back to PAX. And uh, I didn't, unfortunately, get to meet all the players. I, I really wanted to, to meet as many as I could. If you guys see Zeke in the event, go say hi to him, is what he's saying. I, absolutely, please. I would love to meet all of you. You guys, I think you guys are just, everyone in the competitive community are all impressive people. And uh, Hogman, specifically, I, I was actually, we're about to go live, and he was, like, walking somewhere, and he was just like, hey, Zeke. And I looked over, and I saw no him, and I was way. like, oh, my God, Hogman. That's awesome. And then he just, but he was going somewhere, and we were about to do, like, a, a cool, cast though. or something. And I was like, you. man, yeah, I, I thought it was, I, I mean, I was I got to say, I've heard that you know, Hogman attends lo local 
Fortnite tournaments and shows up just for the fans. I heard he went to a, oh. a local Fortnite Fridays tournament at his store in Dallas and, and showed up and, uh, and and participated and hung out with those guys. The fact that he takes the time to do that says a lot about him. I know MV yeah. Sketch on the uh, Team Envious did the same thing. Big shout out to MV Sketch, repping Team Envy. Whew. Even Nate Hill, man. I got to yep. meet Nate Hill, and like for me, I was like awestruck. Like people were like, "Why?" Like, we should be all struck of you. And I'm like, nah, dude, yeah. you guys are legends. And the honor is mine. Amazing. Like, you are the face of, uh, of Skirmish. Oh, I'm oh, my gosh. Meanwhile, Monster D-Face. Monster D-Face. Speaking face. of great people. Monster, speaking of faces. Monster <laughs> D-Face against FaZe Yellow. Yellow, a recent addition to the FaZe Clan. Going to get tagged up here. Nice shots from Monster using his right hand advantage, but he's going to get hurt. So in a world of pain right now is Monster D-Face. No heals to his name, though. He's going to rely on his teammate. Look for that number 33 if it exists. I don't know if that, oh. I think maybe alone. He goes for the edit. Oh, cannot follow up, though. Jared FPS takes him down. And Jared representing a mixer as a platform. He's a mixer, uh, mixer streamer and content creator. He's going to get taken out as well by One Shot Girl, I believe. I has TV. Yep. We talked about him before. Young man from Chicago look, looking to make a name for himself. So now Hezzy TV and uh, Reverse are going to hone in on One Shot Girls who are watch the kill feed there. But She's look hurt, at Margosi. So. He is, oh, it's Ghost Aiden. <gasps> I love it. The winner versus the mayor of Tilted oh. Towers from Scummer, Summer Skirmish, PAX West Finals. See Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think is going to go down here? He <gasps> goes for the play. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, Ghost oh, Aiden. Oh, oh, you oh. are an animal. Against a flying Morgoth, number one champion of PAX West Summer Skirmish, and Ghost Aiden hits the shot, ice in his veins, and connects for the elimination. Well played from Aiden. That was absolutely incredible. Aiden completely slaying out, just typical Aiden. This is another day in the life of Aiden. He just wakes up and slays out. That's it's just it's what unbelievable. He does. One of the most accurate Fortnite players in existence is Ghost Aiden. Well played from him. What a story he is. If you're not following that man on Twitter, you absolutely have to. One of the, our top Twitch streamers now. The man had less than 1,000 followers on Twitter before PAX West. Now he has over 40,000 followers. It's just Whoa. an amazing, amazing story. He deserves every bit of it. That is actually impressive. I mean, you know, I, I actually did get to talk to him, and he's a super sweet dude. Uh, but taking a look at the current scoreboard, uh, Heroin's there. One shot girl we see is down as well. Over to Hesse TV. So this is back in Paradise Palms. So they, they did they manage did to clean girl. up. Yeah, they managed to clean up one shot girl. Uh, I just noticed there's a now entering Paradise sign. I don't know why I've never seen I didn't know that, that before. Either. No I guess because I land like on top of the hotel and I like try to do my best to hold it down. <laughs> you and I both try. Actually. Try is a keyword there. You know what? Paradise is low key like a like a secondary tilt to towers. It's yeah. a fun fight. It's it, the, the the buildings are similar. I love Paradise Palms. If, I you, know, if you have not landed Paradise Palms in a while or ever uh, in the chat, I recommend you check it out. Great I fun. also like uh, there's a place very close Good by that. A lot of people have different names for it. I call it Pueblo. Pueblo. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we agreed yeah. with that when we cast yeah. the PAX West. I'm the yeah, I love Pueblo, dude. As I go call. there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I go there every time. Yeah, it's a good it, Actually, no, I don't. I don't go there ever. Every single time. If you want to fight and, and, and eliminate this man, go there. Meanwhile, Port of Fortress, Parallax of 100 Thieves. Big shot to Nate Shot and 100 Thieves organization against Courage of Optic Gaming. Nate Shot, former organization here. Big one versus one. As uh, Parallax does have height advantage, Tickle Gamer a little bit trapped here with the storm uh, approaching. It's dangerous. Parallax is engaging Courage JD. And look, so Courage was near Parallax. He opts to disengage, moves back toward his teammate. I mean, yeah, you don't want to face off against Parallax and Kenneth. But look, oh, Hopper and Hog Banner here. Oh boy. Big fight here. 100 Thieves versus Complexity. Parallax going to miss the first shotgun shot. Envy Lenane picks up one. But ultimately, you look at the building. Defensive building and the grappler disengaged from Parallax. Well played from him. And he's going to live to see another day here as Hogman is touched up. That was disgusting. Utilizing the grappler to literally change. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. What? Okay. That oh, it's okay. Oh, gosh. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Parallax is actually a Dusty Dog. So if you're a Dusty Dog fan, you need to be blowing up the chat right now. With the emote, especially. What, how did he survive the rocket, I want to know. What I play. believe it hit uh, the space behind him. Which I thought was the splash damage would hurt him. No, no, no. It, like, there was a, another okay. space behind okay. him. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's, I, didn't, a, I wasn't clear. He's in a good spot here. Meanwhile, typical gamer in Courage. Speaking of good spots, sitting with high advantage right now. Courage still alive. Look at this fight. Multiple layers, multiple oh. orgs. Parallax takes out one. That's uh, it's gonna be Pupper. And he gets the limb. Hogman, Hogman takes out Kenneth. It's literally a 1v1, but Courage... 1v1v1 between Hogman, Parallax, and Typical Gamer, I believe, in this one. Well, Courage is still here. He's yeah. down below. You can see, uh, looking at the top right. Yeah, there he's up. There he's it up is, 2v1. Yep. I think we did see Parallax Dude, get taken out. Hogman effectively has like 103 HP. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Un unbelievable. Wow.
That's a great breakdown of plays right there. 37 seconds left to the circle, and the storm will be collapsing. Oh, nice. And there's a the disengage coming in through. Courage and typical gamer have been playing very smart with their disengages. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's definitely the, the smart move here. It's like, it's especially because the storm is going to come in in 20 seconds. Just yeah. bail. You need to make your way. Right, look at where the circle is. It's all the way over by Gus. You have so far to run. Yep. yep. And Envy <sighs> Lenane takes out one at the bottom left of your screen. And, and here's the thing I agree with you given the circle and timing. But mm -hmm. if, if you didn't have the pressure of the storm behind you, I think you take your two versus one. You got to know the numbers yeah. advantage. You got to see at the bottom left of your screen that Parallax got taken out. And you got to know, hey, we're in a. Oh, no, Parallax still up. Yes, he is. All right. So it looks like Kenneth and Parallax are both good alive. To go. Are good to go. I guess they must have just disengaged that fight. Yeah, I thought Kenneth got taken out, but I think they're good. So interesting. E United, 100 Thieves, both still alive. There's 69 players left in the lobby. I just don't understand how this is happening. Wow. There's so many people left alive. Got Ash and Jack, Creo. Yep. Uh, Ghost Bizzle. And Demo yeah, is a Demo as well, is, still yep. alive. So everyone shows a lot of respect. A lot of the pro players, especially, uh, you know, even Poach and a lot of these folks I was talking to, kind of mentioned Ghost Gaming, some of the most mechanically skilled players in terms of how just aggressive they are all the time. And it shows. Let's see what Demo and Bizzle can do. Speaking of talented, United Ashton. I'm bored with him right now. Look at the circle. So many people alive and starting to collapse towards that last circle, which will be a Paradise Palms finish. I freaking hope so. <laughs> Look at this guy, Nate Hill, the legend. I love this guy so much. He's just a completely oh, consistent a player. Oh, no, it's Ginger Pop. No, it's uh, yeah, yeah, Ginger Pop. Yeah, very consistent. One of the most consistent we have, actually. What a story uh, he's had. You know, really, the rise of fame with FaZe Clan. First off at uh, the Ninja Chicago event, which he took first place, and really he's been performing ever since at every, every summer skirmish ever after. Yeah. I mean, he's just an awesome player. Uh, the likes of Annihilus as well. She's we saw, too. Yeah. We saw her uh, during the summer skirmish. She played a lot with High Distortion. Uh, man, she is a phenomenal. She's also a controller player. She's phenomenal. Is she, is she a controller player? Mm -hmm. Yep. I had no mm -hmm. idea. Annihilus. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Oh, yeah. I knew she uh, was, was great. I thought she was a PC player, though. Ha, there you go. That's how good she is. <laughs> exactly. Got him. Got him. Trick me and I, Elise. Well done. Speaking of high distortion, we just saw him on our screen as well. He's still alive. Rogue Double O Flower still alive as well. So we got some big names here. Ghost Bizzle, Ghost Thieves. Like it was that TSM Ghost Myth was lost in the storm. Ooh. FPS takes down Pookie Face. Tyler's takes down Liquid oh, Chap boy. and confirms elimination. Liquid 72 hours takes down Tyler's. Wow. There's so much happening. Down to si We've only gone down to 62 players. Fallout, I don't wow. understand. I love it. I don't understand. I don't get it, but I love it. It's I love been it. It's fun to watch so far. I'm bored with an ILE. 62 left in this one. This is only match number two, by the way, as you see on your screen. We got a lot of great Fortnite coming ahead. Six matches today. Each match awards points. Leader in points gets club points at the end of it all and a nice cash prize pool. That's right, man. King Richard over there with Chica live. All right, so now we've got we've got our new safe zone. It's not terribly far away, but you need to start making these rotations. Look how many players at the very edge of the storm inside retail. I mean, even taking a look at the mats, right? Phase replay is looking pretty good. Ammo count looks great. Health looks pretty good. Yeah, look at this. Grappler. Opting out for the grappler. Phase replays. He was uh, part of Phase Clan. He should be going for 360 no scopes. No, I, yeah, I agree. No, I, I agree 100%. <laughs> With the grappler in your hands, you're not going to take it. That's Interesting. right. Keep an eye, though. They're actually right next to King Richard and Cheek Alive. So I believe our two co ed teams, there might be more than two, but uh, two of our co ed teams in this one, right next to each other here, we might see an engagement. There it is, the launch. And look, this is within the gravity zone, so you are you're going places if you oh. do this. Bouncer while in gravity zone. Woo. Look at this, NRG Zate, so much respect for this player. And what a story he has been. He is a uh, fu funny dude, by the way, as well. Phenomenal individual player. Let's see what he's doing here. I'm bo I think he's teaming with one of the uh, Envy boys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, it's going to be Envy Lenane. So Envy Lenane of Team Envy. Gorilla's also alive, I believe. Nate Hill and Funk Bomb, the duo as well. Look at that. Punisher and Nibs of top. I mean, there's so many people here. And Zate's on my uh, my Lucky Llamas who I'm rooting for here. So let's see what you can do, Zate. All eyes on you. Courage, of course, of Lucky Llamas. Nick Merck's on Lucky Llamas as well. We got a pretty stacked Lucky Llamas group, if I say so myself. But currently sitting at fourth place as of EU standings. Ghost Thuifo, not Thief. Ghost Thuifo currently with Monster rotating over as well. And now this is time. we got to start moving. It's going to be a minute and a half before the storm overtakes this entire zone. Someone in the back goes down there. Looks like Liquid 72 hours takes out Flame. And look, Lick, uh, Chica Live is there behind. Weepo is mid-air taking shots. That's crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love these grab zones, by the way. <laughs> they are so much fun. A blast. An absolute blast. We all remember Summer Skirmish and PAX West and how, how awesome that engagement was where people are flying through the air. And now we get to see a little bit of, uh, of a teaser of that as well. D D FPS of CLG, Counter Logic Gaming, pushing up. Approaching Ghost Gaming. So we got some powerhouses here in this one. Courage, of course. I'm not sure if he got taken out or is still alive. We'll keep a close eye on it. 72 hours, though, still in this one. Man, he took a big hit there. High Distortion. He's dropped very low. Thuifo basically has 32 HP. I mean, that's not much. He's Liquid playing so, hours. so aggressive for how weak he is. If he gets tagged yeah. for one AR bullet in the head, he's, he's done for. I mean, it's really not that. I mean, that's that's an occurrence, right? You just yep. you're, you look up, you see someone firing out of a, a box or one by one. You just take a shot, and it's like, oh well, I guess I just eliminated a player. Cool. Here is the here is the so phase clan big one v. Look at Thuifo pushing this one versus one, and he has almost like an eighth of the, uh, the health that Thief's had. Now it's about equal. What a performance from Thuifo so far. I mean, I don't know about a performance, but the aggression. You like to see it. I mean, typically, man, if you play aggressive, it's either going to go one of two ways. It's going to go really well or it's going to go really bad. And Thuifo is making everything uh, work to his advantage here. Again, with 32 HP, might I add. High risk, high reward, I think is the best definition of that. 32 HP, like you said. 34 HP, sorry. Uh, 33 HP. Sorry, math. 30. Stuff. <laughs> Wait, 32? 33. 33, 33 okay. HP. Math is hard. Yep, difficult thing. Wait, look at this. Nick Merck's still alive. We haven't talked oh. about him in a while. And he has a double barrel shotgun to his name. No and a grappler. Assault, no assault rifle, though. So he's going, he's opting for the double barrel only play here. Well, he's got the, the burst rifle. The, the burst, yeah. But he can't switch directly oh. to the burst. Oh. oh, no, not going to matter. Look at uh, that. I don't, know, I don't know what that was. I didn't see it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see any of it. Me either. I don't know, yeah, what, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, that's a uh, rips in the chat, please. Uh, <laughs> so sorry, Nick Merck. Rips to the M fam. But. One match two. We saw him start slow at uh, Summer Skirmish and have a killer game number five, I believe it was, at Summer Skirmish where he popped off yeah. and secured himself and in the money placement. So Nick down, but certainly never out. Look at Drunky. This. Gonna get one. Brother of Dakotas, aka Dark, as mentioned. Ghost Staff and Ghost Ghoul, the duo here as well. This is gonna knock out uh, Liquid Strafes between the duo. Look how many Creo takes down an Ilise. Tempo is here as Beautiful. well. Back over to him. 72 hours takes down Chica Live. High Surgeon takes out Monster. This is a yeah replay, actually. Oh, that's yeah, right. That was in the past as we're watching what Tempo did Dude. with some beautiful splodes action. Look at that. I think that's a double limb for Tempo with yeah. splodes, and then we're going to stick on board with him as he has the hot hand right now. Look how many people are still here, man. 45 players. No, so I like this circle because there's a small chunk of it that is like overlooking the cliff there. That's hard to build against. Every I feel like every time I look at the bottom of my screen, I see uh, an Envy name pop up as they've been playing well. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's going to happen here. VV Punisher takes out C9, top boy. A lot of fights, a lot of action at the bottom left of your screen. Keep a close eye on that as you're watching. If you're, some of your favorite players are still in it. On board with Gilmock and Tempo, the phase plan duo. We're going to jump on board with Hamhart. Hart is a great, great player. Look at this. Utilizing the grappler to very quickly jump over to loot. He still has seven more. There you go. Okay. Whoa, the build here. What does the DPI guy play? I don't know. He's so <laughs> fast. Look at the edits, too. Clean edits. I like what I'm seeing from Hart so far. Meanwhile, a couple kills. Our eliminations will be picked up for uh, Envy Gorilla gets taken out by Pog. Jack of the United takes out Rogue 00 Flower. So Rogue is currently downed and out by Jack. Shivzy out as well of Cloud9. Let's get up on the board of Jack here as he's performing. He's trying to close in here. So his teammates very close by. Man, that's Stink Bomb. He's putting in work. If there's a quick edit there, and hey, I'm Hart finds both. Look at a pure one versus two for Hey, I'm Hart, and he takes out both of them. What a play from Hart! A pure shotgun in your face, one versus two. Unbelievable stuff. I just he just man moded them. That's crazy. That's amazing. Well played. You don't see that very often. 27 players left. Oh, so the circle is now moving back inland. Oh, yeah. that makes me sad. Oh, you're hoping they're going to have to build over water? Yes. Does that happen? Is that a thing? Is that I possible? I've never seen me it. Either. I hope it is. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. It'd be like you have to create an island for yourself at that point. Yeah. This is like uh, Bob, Bob the Builder or something. Something like that. And now Crazy. look, he's got the double barrel that you saw they had a rift to go. So we got Harrion's crowd out. Exhaust, it looks like he's by himself, so it's pro. Nibs and Punisher up top, at least on this half of the map. We've got uh, 30 seconds before the storm decides to move again. Man, it's starting to come down to the wire here. There's still so many players. 27, especially as now, like, because of where they are on the map, the way they have to move is basically all together, right? See kind of there's one of the yellow triangles up there on that mountain. He just has to jump down. 
but everyone else is very close near each other by Gus. Yeah. Like what I'm seeing on Nibs though, really smart play, just holding their high ground. They're of course gonna have to rotate pretty far, I believe, but uh, they have a rift, oh look at that, yeah, rift to go. So they'll be in a, in a safe spot. They can have a, a late rotation if they want, and then they can actually jump someone who has high ground. Instead, they go for a somewhat early rotation, and now they get to just decide where they wanna land here. Important communication is key right now to make sure they land in the same spot. But if I'm them, I'm jumping right on top of Jay Cuddy and B Sox. So? Oh, 100%. Take that high ground right from them. They're going to do exactly that here. Here comes oh. the builds. Big fight about to go down. They're going to miss the opportunity to get high ground. And now that might cost them as Jay Cuddy and B Sox in a good position to hold that high ground. <laughs> now, look, there's catacombs built down below. So they just dip down and they start to replace walls as they can because they don't own any of this. Yeah. And, with, and uh, to explain, kind of explain what that means, you want to destroy opponent walls which are red and build your own walls to gain possession of that wall, which means you can edit through that and really that gives you entire control of that area in fights. That's exactly what they're going to do here. Well played from Nibs and team. Meanwhile, a couple fights breaking down elsewhere. You see someone go down there, down to 25 players. And again, man, here in 45 seconds, we've seen the storm circle. The new safe zone is shifted. It's down south, so players are going to have to navigate. Luckily, not against the mountain, because typically when players move against the mountain, the mountain wins 99% of the time. Yeah, that's for sure. I would love to see that opportunity to take out Jay Cuddy, who's performed really well at PAX West himself. Mm. Instead, they missed the jump by just an inch. Yeah, now you saw he, he very quickly like put up a one by one in their yeah, face and smart. was like, nah. That's a nice thing. I think it's really balanced. Great audio uh, balance there for the uh, the, the uh, when you're rifting or, or jump padding. You can hear, hear it coming from a mile away, which I think is yes. amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's all about balance, right? It's like, balance, sure, yeah. you can you have this mobility tool, but everyone knows that you're doing it now. Exactly. On board with Brush. 25 people alive, and the rotation's this coming way. through. Look oh, at this. No. They have to get going. They have to get going quick. The storm's right behind them. I expect that 25 to diminish really quickly, much like we saw in game number one here. Any minute, Brush getting stuck and tagged up from behind here. That might be his life. Look how close everyone is right now. They're just desperately trying to move into the new safe zone. We're down to 24. Funk Bomb has gone down to Ghost Bizzle. Bizzle, still alive. Let's see what he can do here. Ghost School takes down Nate Hill Fallout. So the Ghost Squad in a pretty good spot here, showing up once again. We saw them go huge at PAX West, and they're doing it again. E United's Amaze gets taken out, so does Dimes. Good night, E United in match number two. Let's see what Ghost Bizzle can do here. Such a smart player, such a great mechanical player. He is just difficult to take out. And now we are still at only 19 players. We've only lost six players, and now we have to move back into the storm. Yeah, crazy. Uh, I believe someone just got Knock by Storm, I think they got launched. I think someone sent Punisher uh, into the storm. Yeah, I think that's what happened. And Ghost Bizzle in a pretty bad spot here, and he, he just knows how to get out of horrible situations. Let's see if he can do it here. It's gonna be pretty tough to do is, look, everyone has high ground over him, but somehow just manages to stay alive again. He's low on mats though. Take a look at that, only about four, 350 mats total. Ghost Sap gets knocked down and eliminated. Look at this, there's players. Oh, he's against the mountain. This is what we talked about. You have to move up the mountain. You cannot just try. I mean, if you start slipping down the mountain, there's no way. That's it, you're yeah. gonna be eliminated. Especially when the storm ticks for 10 now. It's gonna yeah. be rough. Incredibly true. Uh, Zoof was, a, was very vocal about what he learned at PAX West, which was mats. You need to have mats for late game, and this is a prime example of why. I think it's gonna be a matter of resources here. Whoever can outmat the other team can maybe potentially win this. Jay Cuddy in a good spot to do that, as they do have high ground. Vape Jesus right now, currently mid-ground, tunneling up with his teammate. In a pretty decent spot here. Trying to regain possession of everything they possibly can. Will they drop here? Look at that, go school, literally right below him. And they recognize it. It's going to be Zexro that picks up an elimination on Ghost Ghoul. Well played from Zexro, the teammate of Vape Jesus here. And now with the storm, they need to start moving again. The players are dropping like flies here. Demo. Nine remain left. Cuddy still up top this. with the high ground. Easy money for Cuddy. Look who's still alive at Symphony, the winner of match number one. Jay Cuddy in a great position to win this one. Symphony gets taken out. That's Demo who gets at least a double and is still alive. Demo is popping off right now. It's just, it's just Demo. Demo it is. Three versus, uh, two versus one here. All up to Demo. He is tagged up. He is hurt in a very tough position. Rockets at his face. Not much he can do here. Let's see if he can make magic happen as Demo's gonna Ooh. get taken out. Well played by B-Sox and Jay Cuddy. And keep in, in mind here, they were this close to getting taken out by the Rift yep. from Nibs earlier on. That was incredible. Well played from them. They may 